This episode of DNews is brought to you by Domain.com. Fossil fuel energy is the most common type of power plant in the United States, but solar just hit a huge milestone that might make them finally shine past the competition. Hey there, sunshines. Thanks for watching DNews. I'm Trace. For all the talk about solar panels being better for the environment, they are still notoriously inefficient, or were until now. Australian researchers from the University of New South Wales created the most efficient solar panels ever. These new panels convert 46% of their sunlight energy into electricity. Typical rooftop panels, for example, hover around 15% at best. This new technology works by distributing the solar collection into three cells, picking sunlight up in multiple wavelengths, and then reflecting that excess light at a fourth panel. It's genius. So, 46%, huh? That's the best we can do. 46 doesn't sound like much, does it, right? It's less than half. Traditionally, power plants usually use heat to create steam and move turbines. Those turbines generate the electric current. I bet you're as curious as I was about which plants are more efficient than 46%. But these solar panels are actually doing better than a lot of other plants. To calculate efficiency of a power plant, you take the output power and heat, you add that together, and then you divide by the total amount of power produced. Essentially, you are accounting for the fact that burning fuels is hot, and you lose a lot of heat in that power transfer. So let me give you an example. In the US, there are over 1,400 coal power plants burning this fossil fuel in an efficiency of about 33%, meaning two thirds of all the energy produced from a coal power plant is lost. Even the most efficient coal plants are only 45% efficient. Nuclear energy, also measured by the previous equation, ranges from the low 30s into the high 40s, with the best, most heat efficient plants topping out at around 48%. As technology improves and the population has become more interested in environmental protection, both coal and nuclear have become more efficient. But if we're honest with each other, which, you know, we're DNU, so we try to be, making the plant perform better isn't easy. Instead, a quick solution is to take that heat exhaust and loop it back into the plant. This conserves those extra BTUs of heat rather than letting them float away into the atmosphere. Some plants do this to conserve energy and heat as much as they can. They also help burn the fuel more efficiently or fine tune the plant to help keep it in tip top shape. Unfortunately, wind power, they're kind of the big loser outside of commercial solar. But even with that, they're running anywhere from 25 to 50% efficiency. It really varies depending on the design and the location. Offshore wind farms run more often than onshore ones, but the efficiency depends on how hard the wind is blowing, how much of that wind power the turbine can harvest, and so on and so forth. As technology improves, they get better. Lots of scientists are working on making super efficient wind power. Biomimicry is a big part of their recent advances, with some scientists discovering that mimicking sharks, whales, or birds will help make the installations capture more energy. This also informs the winner and champion of all these power generation solutions, hydroelectric. The biggest hydroelectric installations can get a 95% efficiency, and the smaller ones can still hit 85. 85 is a lot more than the next closest. It's pretty incredible, but when you take into account the simplicity of solar, it makes sense. There's less environmental impact as well. Sure, coal and nuclear have a lot of bang for their buck, and solar needs a lot of space and also sun, but while 46% didn't sound like a lot before you saw this video, an infinitely renewable, non-polluting energy solution that is essentially equal in efficiency to other major generation techniques sounds pretty darn good, doesn't it? And by the way, if you're looking for an efficient way to buy a domain name, look no further than domain.com. No domain extension will help you tell your story, like a .com or .net domain name, and because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off of your domain.com's names and also web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. But what do you think of all this? Do you want solar panels? Do you want wind power, hydroelectric, coal, nuclear? Tell us down below in the comments, debate it out, and make sure you subscribe for more DNews. You can also check out this video over here about why nuclear energy is saving lives. I know, it sounds crazy, but it might. Thanks for watching.